This tutorial will show you how to use 12 Keys music transcription software to identify and learn the notes of a song. The program itself is very easy to use, but there are many tips and tricks that will make using 12 Keys even easier. First, let's prepare a file to use in 12 Keys. We recommend you use a song with single instrumentation until you get the hang of using the program, and a file in WAV format recorded at 16 kHz. If your file isn't in this format, or you're unsure if it is, you can use Switch File Converter to make sure the encoder settings are set for 16 kHz to quickly convert your file to the correct setting. Another way to convert your file is with WavePad Audio Editor, which I'm going to use so that I can also remove some of the vocals to make the instrumentation easier to hear in 12 keys. Load the file into WavePad, then go to the Effects menu, click on Special Effects, and click Reduce Vocals. This won't remove the vocals entirely, but will definitely soften them so we can hear the instrumentation better. Save the file, and be sure to save in WAV format at 16 kHz. Now we're ready to load the audio file into 12 keys. Click the Open button and locate the file you just created. Once it's loaded, you'll see a piano roll view of the song, where each note is represented by a frequency and duration. The stronger the line, the more likely it's a note and not a harmonic or distortion. There are a few things we can do to make what you see here easier to understand. The most important thing is to adjust the gain in the lower right corner. Slide it all the way up, and the notes that are louder will stand out more on the main display. Another way to make the notes easier to see is to change the foreground color. Right-click on the main display and select Set Foreground Color. I like to use yellow, but you might find another color works better for you. Now we need to align the keyboard. 12 Keys does a pretty good job of lining up the notes on the keyboard to within a whole step of the real note, but you still might need to make adjustments. The easiest way to do this is to find a place in the music with long-held notes. If you can, find a place where you can isolate a single note. Slow down the speed, play the file, and then match the note using the keys on the keyboard. When you do find a match, align the correct note with the main display using the tuning slider. Now that the keyboard is aligned, you can start picking out phrases. Inevitably, you're going to listen to the same part over and over again, so 12 keys allows you to loop sections to free up your hands for matching notes on the keyboard or on your instrument. To set a loop, Right-click the main display where you want the loop to start, and select Set Loop Start. This places a marker on the piano roll, which you can drag into position as needed. Then right-click the main display again to select Set Loop End. Now when you click Play, the loop will play. You can toggle looping on and off using the loop button in the bottom controls. The rest is up to you. Use your ear to pick out the notes and learn the song. It helps to have at least a basic understanding of music theory, which will help you construct chords and progressions in the music. Use the speed adjustment slider to slow down the song when you're just starting out, and then speed up the music when you want to practice along. Transcription can be time consuming, but is ultimately very rewarding, and 12 Keys is a unique tool to help you learn the songs you love faster. Learn more about other software for musicians from NCH Software, including Crescendo Notation Editor, Tempo Perfect Metronome, and Pitch Perfect Tuner at the address shown on your screen.